Hi everyone, I'm Shalia from JeffAndShalia.com, co-author of the book Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. And today I wanted to talk about something that I think is really important to talk about, which is called Our Spiritual Friends. <laughs> I guess I was inspired to make this video because <clears throat> I was scrolling through my Facebook recently and um, on a few different Facebook profiles, I kept seeing like this shout out for the um, the spiritual community. Where are you? And where are all my spiritual friends? And I would love for you to, I'd love to have spiritual friends that come over and hang out and like talk about spiritual things and maybe do some spiritual things like yoga or or whatever. Um, <sighs> But I guess what um, what I really wanted to get clear on is what is a true spiritual friend? What does it actually mean to have a spiritual friend? Because you're asking the universe for a really big thing, um, which is a spiritual friend. Um, and when we're not really clear within ourselves, what does that mean exactly? Um, we can end up feeling disappointed or blaming the universe that uh, we didn't get what we asked for when in fact we did. So I'm going to very clearly um, share with you what um, a spiritual friend is. Here, here's the definition in a nutshell. Okay. Well, actually, let me let me backpedal a bit. Here is what a spiritual friend is not. It is not someone who uh, comes over to your place. And you talk about rainbows and chakras and crop circles and the star tetrahedron, you know, etc., etc. Um, that is not a spiritual friend. That is someone who is um, somewhat well versed or very well versed in a spiritual topic, but that does not make them a spiritual friend. What a spiritual friend is, is someone who helps you remove um, blocks and barriers of love within yourself. That is the purpose of a true spiritual friend. It isn't someone that you can talk woo-woo with <laughs> or that you can connect to on a, um, like a multi-dimensional level, um, if you know what I mean. A spiritual friend, like I said, is someone who will reflect areas in your life where you're not loving yourself and shine that light however they are called to shine that light um, on that area of your life for you to, for you to love uh, that part within yourself. That is the purpose of a true spiritual friend, is someone that says, and it is, as someone, if you have that type of uh, friendship or relationship where um, both of you can go to each other and say, ah, uh, you know, um, when that other person is open, you know, hey, I think you're doing something that might be harming yourself or I think um, you're pursuing this path and it's not really in your best and highest interest from what I'm seeing and from what I'm feeling. You know, there's like an open dialogue there of growth. Also, what a spiritual friend is, is someone whom you can be completely vulnerable with and that you're safe to be vulnerable with. You're safe to share your story with. Not everyone deserves to hear your story. Not everyone, even people who you call friends, is not somebody who's worthy to for you to share your um your story with your um you know like for instance say you went to a grocery store and you had some upset happen between you and another person or a family member and you're able to just pick up your phone and call your spiritual friend and just say hey um i really need to talk to you about about something that happened uh to me and you know that they are not going to try to one-up you meaning 
oh, that bad thing happened to you. You're not going to believe what bad thing happened to me. That's not, that's not what a friend does. That's like some qu kind of pity competition that you didn't even start. It's like, okay, you're not, you're not really my friend. Or um, somebody that is just not emotionally available to you. They're not able to be present with you um, when you call them up. Now, um, that's not to say that you know, a spiritual person can have boundaries and be like, look, um, I can't help you with this issue right now, um, but in the near future or whenever, or I need to get centered myself, um, I will call you. So I just wanted to get clear um, with you folks a little bit on what it is to be and to have a spiritual friend. If you have any questions or comments, um, please put in the link below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much.